Let's get right into audience questions for the week. First one is, hey, David, I get Michael Bloomberg is doing OK in the polls, but what's the point of him campaigning for the presidency? He can't win. He's nearly 80 years old. He's merely hemorrhaging cash. What is the point of this entire thing? So I think there's a couple different things going on. Number one, the spending of the money. So given that Michael Bloomberg is running, for him, the spending of the money he probably sees as a better and more efficient way to get his message directly to voters than participation in the debates after having an individual donation infrastructure. So he's chosen to forego individual donations. He's spending a whole bunch of money. It could be 150 million by now, could could be even more. I don't know that we have the latest tally. And he believes that he has a good message and he is choosing to go directly to voters. And that explains the spending of the money. If you have 55 billion spending 100 million or 200 million or 300 million, these are unconscionable amounts of money for ninety nine point nine nine percent of the population uh, or, or more. But to Michael Bloomberg, it's really it's barely anything, particularly when he's nearly 80 years old and he has all the money and his kids. I don't know anything about his family, but his kids, I'm sure, have all the money they, they could ever need. So the spending of the money, you have to think about it as like spending pennies, and that's effectively what he is doing. Secondly, I think the strategy of running at all, because again, if the thing doesn't change drastically, he is obviously not going to be the nominee. There is a gamble that Biden fails and people get scared of voting Bernie or voting Warren. And Bloomberg is there with name recognition and having built up a campaign infrastructure as well as just blasting out hundreds of millions of dollars in ads. Now, it may not work because the the obvious alternative to an establishment Democrat like Biden is not to go to the guy who got in late, hasn't been in any of the, the debates and was a Republican for a long time in his life. I think they go to boot edge edge or they go to Amy Klobuchar to fill the establishment role if Biden were to totally falter. I do believe that underlying all of this, I believe Michael Bloomberg is sincere that he wants to remove Donald Trump at all costs. And there was the concern of, well, Bloomberg's in there because he's super rich and he wants to protect his own wealth. There's probably ways in which that's true, but he may also be wanting to protect merely the structures that allow him to make money rather than avoiding a wealth tax personally, because I read over the weekend that he said he would support whoever the Democratic nominee ultimately is, including Elizabeth Warren, whose wealth tax would directly affect Michael Bloomberg. And I'm sure he doesn't believe that her wealth tax will become a reality. And that's probably a good assessment. He says he would vote for Bernie, so on and so forth. So I don't want another billionaire president. I've not seen evidence that Michael Bloomberg is acting in bad faith. And of course, it's ev what his candidacy really is, is not evidence of a guy acting in bad faith. It's just evidence of why the money in politics system that we have is so corrosive, because he switched from being a Republican to a Democrat during Donald Trump's tenure, bought his way in without being in a single debate and is polling at last check something like five or six percent. I don't think he's a bad faith actor, but he does show us why the system we have doesn't work and why it should be very quickly changed. I uh, also, by the way, I would love to get a phone call when we do live calls from a Michael Bloomberg supporter. I jokingly tweeted over the weekend that I I, I met a real Amy Klobuchar supporter in real life. And I, I in in person, I don't think I know anyone who's supporting Klobuchar or Biden. I know a couple of people I'm friends with on Facebook who are supporting Mayor Pete. Um, I don't I've not talked to anyone who's supporting Michael Bloomberg, and I would love to get a call from them during live calls next week. So if you're supporting Bloomberg, I want to hear from you. Is it issue oriented? Is it personality? Is it you want a billionaire to face off against Trump or what exactly is it that you see as appealing about Michael Bloomberg?